A Russian radar screen goes black. Six seconds later, a flicker, then nothing. No signal, no sound, just a phantom in the sky. They call it a ghost, but it might be the F-22 Raptor. October 2022, midnight. A Russian radar station near Kaliningrad flickers, then drops to static. Six seconds of silence, just snow on the screen, then a single blip. No transponder, no heat signature, no radio, just gone. The operators call it a ghost. The Pentagon calls it the Raptor. But here's the question Russia is still asking. Can their most elite air defense system, the S-400 Triumph, take down the most advanced stealth fighter in the world? The F-22 Raptor is not just an aircraft, it's a concept. Designed not to engage, but to vanish. Built from radar-absorbing composites, shaped to deflect waves, and armed with internal weapon bays, its radar cross-section is a staggering 0.0001 square meters. That's smaller than a marble. At 20,000 feet, it's basically a ghost. It cruises at Mach 1.8 without afterburners, which means no infrared trail, no sonic boom, and no warning. Its AESA radar can detect and track targets over 160 kilometers away. Fire first, disappear, and never be seen. In combat simulations, Raptor pilots often win without ever being detected. That's not luck, that's engineering. But ghosts don't haunt empty skies. The S-400 Triumph is Russia's most lethal air defense weapon, a complete ecosystem of radars, missiles, and command units. Its radar suite, including the 92N6E and 91N6E systems, scans 600 kilometers in every direction, tracking hundreds of targets simultaneously. It can deploy four types of missiles, from the Agile 9M96 to the long-range 40N6, capable of hitting targets up to 400 kilometers away and at altitudes of 30 kilometers. One S-400 battery can unleash 72 missiles in a matter of seconds. It's not just a shield. It's an airborne minefield waiting to be triggered. But radar has a flaw, stealth. And stealth has a counter, low frequency radar. The S-400 uses a mix of bands, X-band for accuracy, L-band for tracking, and VHF to spot low observable threats. VHF can detect stealth jets, but not guide missiles with precision. It's like hearing footsteps in the dark, but not knowing exactly where they're coming from. Meanwhile, the F-22 uses terrain masking, weaving between valleys, hugging urban landscapes, vanishing behind mountains. And even if the S-400 detects it, the Raptor's onboard radar warning receiver lights up instantly, allowing the pilot to escape, jam, or fire first. In this game of ghosts and hunters, the ghost has the advantage. November 2015, Syria. After Turkey downs a Russian Su-24, Moscow responds by deploying S-400 units to Latakia. Weeks later, Israeli F-35s strike targets deep in Syrian territory, some allegedly inside S-400 zones. Not a single missile is launched. Fast forward to 2022, Ukraine. The S-400 is deployed across Crimea and Donbass. It shoots down drones, helicopters, cruise missiles. But there's zero evidence of a stealth jet kill. Rand Corporation confirms not a single fifth-generation fighter, F-22, F-35, or Israeli Adir has ever been shot down by a Russian SAM, ever. So, can the S-400 take down the F-22? In theory, yes. On paper, with perfect conditions. If the Raptor is high, slow, broadcasting radar, maybe. But the F-22 doesn't operate that way. It's not built for fair fights. It's designed to end the fight before it begins. Unless the S-400 tricks it via ambush mode, passive radar triangulation, or surprise, the Raptor might slip by unnoticed. Because in real warfare, the winner isn't the one who makes the most noise. It's the one who leaves none at all. The S-400 is a fortress. The F-22 is a phantom. And in the silence between them, wars are decided. Next week on Cockpit X, China's J-20 versus America's F-35. The next-gen dogfight is here. Who really owns the skies of tomorrow? Subscribe, like, 
Join the Sky War.